Hi folks, in this today video tutorial I'd like to focus on the sheet metal cuts. We will start from scratch and I'd like to create sheet metal model with specified names. If you have a look here, the system will create for me three datum planes and coordinate systems. I will use the first extrude feature as L profile. And I'd like to specify the dimensions. And if I confirm OK, the system automatically creates for me the necessary shape. So I would like to change the thickness of the sheet metal part to something bigger one. And right now, if I select the right mouse button show section dimension, you can see that in my sketch I'll create these two lines. They are described by dimension 180. I'd like to ex explain to you what does it mean two colors definition if you change the visibility to hidden line. Every sheet metal object is defined by driving surface and offset surface. The surface what you create, the system create as driving surface. And the thickness definite is the offset. What does it mean? If, you, if I will select the definition and I will change the orientation flip side on the opposite direction, it means that my sketched edges are this one. Yes, yeah? so if I will show section dimensions, it's 180. And over there is the offset, for example, 15. So the thickness will be, say, the 15 millimeters. And you can see right now the system change colors. Inside surface is a green one and outside surface is white one. I have created and defined in my sketch the green shape. One more time, if I select double click, you can see that is the true that inner definition is defined. The another explanation is if I will go, I don't want to go directly from the sheet metal. I'd like to show a different kind of the section. So I will try to create a new solid model. Yeah. If I will create new solid model, I can directly create extrude feature and I will select the sketch plane. Right now, I am defined, that is the solid model. So in my sketch, if I select only the same dimensions, yeah, you can see 180. And if I will finish, the system will automatically change the surface modeling. Why? Because my shape is only two lines. But I don't want to use the surface modeling. I'd like to use the extrude and the system automatically set for me the thickness. So right now I will change it a little bit. So for example the thickness of my material will be 10 millimeters but I don't want to go the outside but inside. You can see here the system automatically go in the middle and inside. So you can change, you can flip, it's really easy and confirm. We would like to continue and I'd like to transform this solid model to sheet metal. I will use the operation convert to sheet metal and over there is the question about driving surface. So if you select this function driving surface, the system asks you which surface will be green or which one will be definition of the sheet metal. So I will select that surface and the system recognize the thickness and you can confirm. You can change the thickness, for example, to five millimeters is no problem and it's fine. Original object was created as 10 millimeters, but you would like to change it only to five. 
And right now, if I will change the visibility to hidden line, you can see which surface I have specified like driving surface. And another one is offset surface. Okay. And you ask me what next? We can continue with edge band. I'd like to use the edge band here and thickness will be, for example, 10 millimeters anymore. Yeah. I like to focus and explain to you more about sheet metal cuts and how the system counts with cuts. I would like to create new sketch, but this sketch will be placed on the datum plane. So I like to create a sketch, but you can create datum plane if you need it directly. So I will select two edges and confirm OK. So on this new datum plane, I will create circle. And if I will confirm, you can see that this is my sketch, what I have created. And right now I will use the function use extrude feature. I will select the existing sketch and the system automatically select to the next. And the question is, what's the size of this hole it is? It is possible to put there some tube or not. Okay. For better explanation, I will finish it. And we can try to use this extra feature, this sketch, and use the extra feature one more time. But I don't want to use the cut. I like to only show you if it is possible to place same tube here or not. You can see that is not possible. Yeah, so it's a problem. How we can get there the same dimensions of the tube? So we have some problem over here in extra feature and you can see that sheet metal cuts has a few definition. You can use remove material normal to both driving and offset surfaces, or you can use on the driving surface or remove material to normal sur offset surface. Okay, how to explain? It's a little bit hard, but I'd like to focus step by step and slowly and slowly and hope so that will be good for you. Right now, my driving surface is this one. It means that if you have selected remove material normal to driving surface, the system going directly to normal surface and then create the cut. If you go to opposite, the system will create some bigger one. So the another option is remove material normal to offset surface. Right now, the system going through and then if he will in the middle with the offset surface and our cut, the system will create normal. You can see that right now it's bigger. Yeah, it's a smaller or bigger. Follow my block. And over there, I'll try to explain this situation with some sketches. Maybe it will be better for understanding. And so, if I will finish it, you can see here right now that this extra feature right now is the possible to put inside. Yeah, and you can see that is not problem. So if you will have an assembly, it's not problem because you can use the same dimensions for the tube and for hole what you created. Okay. If you use the unbend feature, the system will create the necessary shape for us. Then the option is that 
I will start from scratch directly again. If I use the control D, the system will automatically reorient my model to default orientation. Yeah. I will jump back to convert to sheet metal and we will start with planner. We can make some any shape really easy with some dimensions come from OK and you can specify the thickness. It's fine. Standard modification. You can create a flat. Specify the dimensions or shape. Then you need to create the correct cuts. The best practice is if you use the unbend feature, you will create the cuts what you need. Any shape. Come from OK. What you need to do is use the function bend back and your shape is defined correctly. In the drawing, you will only show these dimensions and everything is going so quickly. But what about if you need to leave some edges opened? Let me show you. I will use again unbend feature and I would like to check a little bit. Okay, I will create lines and it will be open shape. If I will confirm, I would like to specify the thickness of this line. So the system will specify the thickness cut, for example, 10 millimeters. Again, this is my shape, what I have created. And again, you can switch if you would like to use the middle shape or inner shape. Yeah, so from, from outside, middle to inner. If I will change it a little bit, for example, 20 millimeters, you can see here, outside, the sketch isn't directly in the middle or inside. If you come from OK, and right now, if I go in bang back, the system automatically close the shape like was at the original. And here is the question if it is some bend control. So you can jump here and you can use the function keep flat. And what will be final result is looks like this. Yeah. So I hope so that you like this function. And sometimes if you use the sheet metal cuts and unbend and bend back feature you can leave some objects as flat. So it's not necessary to do and modify the shape. I'll show you here. So the another option will be create a cut, create a flat, use the edge, use some inner offsets, and then angle will be flat. Right now you can see that I have a same final results, but over there it's much easy to, for modification. So you have a lot of steps how you can manage the cuts and another features what we need. Okay. And last thing what I'd like to show you or what I'd like to create is the use the projection curve. So I will start directly from scratch again. I will change this shape a little bit. So for example 50 and the thickness will be only Yeah. I 
I like to use the projection. Over here, it's really hard to find what is the projection. And maybe if you are new in, in the Creo, you only know that you would like to use the projection. No problem. You can use the search command here and use and try to find the project. The system will show you where the function is or you can directly select it from this menu. The question is, what do you like to project? You would like to project existing chain or you would like to project the sketch? Yeah, I'd like to use the project sketch. But we need to define this sketch, so no problem, you can define it really easy. Select surface and confirm sketch. You can use the middle button for confirmation. You can select the references and then you can use the another edges or surfaces for your references. I have created my shape, what I would like to create, and I'd like to confirm it because the sketch is done with some dimension. Hey, it's no, no problem, you can create a new dimension. The system asks you on, on which surfaces you would like to project that sketch. I like to use that surfaces for projection. Yeah, so you can use it. And use the along direction. So I like to go directly by this dimension. And you can see, this is my sketch. It is projected directly on selected surfaces with along direction to selected plane. Be careful. If you use the sheet metal mode, you need to use the function follow surfaces. For what is it good? If you confirm OK, and then you will use the unbend feature and confirm, the system will automatically create correct unbend that curve for you. And right now it's no problem because you can use the extrude feature. You need to specify the sketch plane and then you can use the projection of existing curve. So I like to use that curves, yeah, step by step. And then you can add the another one and create your custom shape here again. I will create something, yeah. So, and I don't want to use that one. This is my shape, what I used. Something is from the projection curve and something is what I have created directly in the sketch. If I will finish, the system asks me which size I'd like to remove. So I'd like to remove or create the sheet metal cuts here and I will finish it. And if I will use the function bend back, a system will create correct shape for me. So right now you can see that the shape what I have created is a little bit complicated. And if you would like to use the only extra feature, you have to use the more than one. But with projection or projection curve, it's much easier. I hope so that you like my examples, how to use the extrude features and sheet metal cuts. Stay tuned and follow my video tutorials on YouTube channel. Bye bye. Vladimir.